Hey there everyone, I have a couple of features to uh, go over in uh, an early access build of 3.2 and um, you can uh, give Demi Tree on the Discord channel a shout out for this. Uh, this was quite a, a nice little distraction uh, Friday, Saturday morning. So um, anyway, let's get into it. So what I've got here, if you notice, I've got a like a positioning bar or progress bar. I've actually called it a progress bar, but I'm up for um, uh, any any kind of name changes here. So let's go over this. Um, so let me just activate the the gamepad. So as you can see, as I go through the list, it will position in relation to um, the control that I've created here. If you can see that. Again, I'll just scroll through the list. All right. Um, I'll just show you the properties. So it's expecting a, a background, or sorry, an increment image, which I have here in gray. If I zoom in. <clears throat> and then the uh, current position image, as noted in green here. All right, so it just needs two images. And then um, you, can, you can tell it how many uh, increments that you wish to have displayed and obviously the more you have in that space the smaller the images become all right so if you just want 10 that's fine and obviously as this is vertical the bigger you make the control the larger the images become all right, so we'll go and go back to the, the gamepad. And you can slow down the animation. Or you can essentially remove the, the animation completely. It's entirely up to you. Um, you can have the placement of the current position image uh, above, which you see here. It's above the gray dots or above the increment image. You can make it go below, depending on what uh, you're trying to achieve. All right. Um, I mean, that's really it at least for now, um, as far as this control is concerned. Um, I mean, there is a vertical or horizontal orientation that we can utilize. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. I mean, I can flip it right now. It is horizontal. <clears throat> doesn't make sense in a vertical, vertical list, but, um, it will still show accordingly. All right. Um, I want to discard that. Uh, if I go to, I'm trying to remember which one. I had it on here somewhere, or I thought I did. Uh, well, I guess I didn't. All right, well, I'll quickly add it. So I'm just going to grab that. I'll 
paste it and we'll switch it to um, horizontal Here and above everything, like so. And now it's positioning just fine. And one thing I do want to um, show you here is I've got it set to 29 increments. Actually, let me let's make it an even, I don't know, make it an even 50. Now, what will happen is it looks like this has less than 50 items. Let me go to one that I know has very few games. So this has less than 50 items. So what it's actually doing here, it's showing uh, the total number of um, items that we have on display. So it went from 50 to, um, what is this, eight? Because we've only got eight games. All right. So <clears throat> again, you know, if uh, if anyone comes up with a better naming convention for this control, please let me know. And also, if um, some of the labels here you don't you don't like, and you've got uh, a recommendation of what these labels should be called, feel free. Uh, again, let me know. Um, uh, this is a work in progress control. I've already had a couple of ideas um, prior to making this video but I just wanted to show this off, okay? Um, I'm actually going to keep that in there for now. So what was the other one? The other one... was this. Let me just switch off um, visibility conditioning. So I've got two labels here, okay? And they're linked to... Um, the selected item, okay? So if it starts with a one, this label will show. If, uh, if this value ends with a two, this label will show, all right? So let me just enable visibility conditioning. So as you can see, this label is visible because the <clears throat> selected item value equals one. It starts with a one. So let's go down through the list one disappears, or the label with the one disappears, now two is showing, neither are showing. When we get to 10, this label now displays, and both are displayed, because it, this obviously starts with a one, this one is looking at ends with a two, all right? So, <clears throat> This is controlled by, I've added two more um, uh, comparison operators, as you can see here, starts with, ends with. You may find that useful. Uh, again, it was Demetri on the Discord channel that um, he was trying to achieve um, like this progress bar and he couldn't do so because there was no operator that allowed for this start with end with all right so i've added those in like i said maybe very very useful um and then in doing so with this little distraction uh, from my current um, 3.2 work uh, <laughs> This actually uncovered a whole series of old bugs 
that needed to be remediated in order for any of this stuff to work. So again, you know, thanks to Demetri for at least kind of bringing this up and um, allowing me to uh, to see where some of these um, issues issues were and have them fixed. And that's exactly what I've done. So anyway, these these are a couple of new features that I've added uh, to 3.2. Like I said, it was a kind of a welcome distraction um, Friday night, and um, and I hope. Uh, I hope you uh, I hope you like these features, or at least um, you know you'll be able to utilize them in your in your themes. All right. So until the next video, uh, take care, everyone, and uh, I'll catch you soon.